Hello everybody. Today we'll be learning about uh, flawed modeling using ArcGIS. We'll be specially focusing on use of HeraGeoras. Okay, let's get started. Uh, first of all, make sure that the proper projection system is uh, selected. We can right click in the empty area, data frame properties, and select the UTM. Okay, you can select any zone of UTM wherever you belong to. Uh, okay, I'm selling food by man. Okay. Then add your uh, DM file. Okay. Check whether your projection of the DM file is uh, adaptable or not. Okay. Let me check. Okay, it's 1984. No, we want UTM, so we need to change the projection of this raster. So for that, go to catalog. Uh, let's minimize this. Uh, Let's minimize this and go to system toolbox. There you have data management tools. In the data management tools you have projections and transformations within the raster. Select on project raster, double click. Okay. So our input raster would be uh, this one this dm file okay it takes time sometimes you have to be patient our you can select any uh, location and the output present system would be utm okay go to utm any zone you belong to okay now then i'm selecting 45 and okay okay Now the projection is being done. Okay, if you don't project it, then it will be very difficult to carry out further actions. So it is being in the process, being projected. Uh, make sure that in ArcGIS or in, in QGIS, projection plays a very important role. It's uh, it's all about datum, and uh, with the difference in datum, you know, there will be difference. Uh, different works different uh, spacings okay okay we have finished here yeah? let me remove the on projected one here we go now i'll be converting this into team okay for that go to catalog um, and go to 3 analysis tool and we go to conversion from raster we are converting raster to team so raster to team now we'll click on it Input raster would be our raster, projected raster, and give your location and click on OK. So you see that the raster is being converted into T. Okay. Okay. The T is generated. Okay. Now what we do is Make sure that you have installed the Hekras, Hekjoras, okay? So right click in this toolbar area, empty area, and select editor and Hekjoras. Okay, I have already selected it. Then what we do is, let's say we'll make some drop sketch, okay? We'll be focusing here, okay? This stream, this one, this one, okay? Let's do some drop sketch. So, First, let's clear the reverse center line. Create rust layer. Go to rust geometry. Create rust layer and stream center line. I'm going to save it. Okay, save it. Give any file. For example, practice one two three. Save it. Go to rust geometry. Create rust layer. Stream center line. And uh, let's say this is reverse center line. <coughs> okay yes. now we can digitize this to digitize go to editor and start editing and select this reverse center line select this feature select line okay now we are considering this this and this so what you need to do is let's go through the center of this water body through center okay and uh, this is a rough sketch 
we'll stop at the junction junction is here so we'll stop here this is one we have even for this uh, tributary we'll be doing the same so come from here center this this and go to here snap to feature and vertex okay and I do finish sketch <clears throat> once you are finished with that you click right click and finish sketch again uh, here we have to focus to vertex and for this <coughs> stream go there there then here double click and okay make sure that you always go from up to down okay right click uh, till sketch make sure that you go from up to down here you came from here to here 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 to here and for this section here to here okay now go to editor save edits and rust geometry create rust layer bank lines okay yes okay again digitize the bank lines now I start editing now select the banks line selector in the same way what you need to do is uh, just like this recent line go to the bank and create bank layers okay, this way this way this way this way this way this way make sure that you stop at the junction okay here we have a junction so we stop here similar way we come from here come here this way this way and end up here so to end up right click on it snap to feature vertex and uh, finish sketch similarly we do for this side uh, we come from here this is a rough sketch okay we come here at the junction you double click on it okay similarly we do this uh, snap to features vertex from here here okay do it properly okay when you are doing I don't have much time in the same way we need here this this and this in the same way from here you have to feature and doing vertex this one this one and this one okay after bang we need to create uh, the flow path center line select yes okay yes now just in the same way editor start editing uh, we select the flow path just give the flow path okay we stop at the junction similarly we come from here snap to features vertex and finish sketch similarly we come from here and we stop here snap to feature vertex we go downwards make sure that you always go from the upstream to downstream okay, we need here up to down we come here we sketch uh, snap to feature vertex we come down okay finish sketch okay let me uh, uncheck these layers and let's see this is how it looks this is a sketch okay uh, let me save these things okay then save it we need the cross section lines okay rush geometry create rust layers access cut lines you can okay yes okay that layer is created before that we have to assign <coughs> id to this each uh, reaches okay here you can see id click here go to the center line this okay click there say main river And raise is upstream. Okay. Similarly, for this one, say this is a tributary, and let's say middle. Okay. And for this one, okay. 
zoom properly focus it properly okay yes it is main river and rich name would be downstream click in okay we have to assign id the uh, line type attributes to uh, flow path okay for that click on this uh, three arrow pointing downwards go to uh, center line and center line should be always channel okay the next center line is this one so it has to be channel the next one it is channel okay now for in case of other one this one always uh, uh, face the direction of moving water and assign direction accordingly so if we face in the moving direction of water this one this would be in the left direction okay still not agreeing okay, what's happening zoom a bit it's not supposed to work okay line type is uh, left okay for this one the line type is uh, right okay for this stream this is uh, gonna be right we face the direction so i'm selecting right okay this is be left click okay but this stream this is going to be left so if you just face the direction of the moving water and okay just don't understand okay it's gonna be right click on okay okay now what we do is we create cross sections lines for that uh, here you have construct access code lines click on it and I'll be giving intervals say 300 meters width is let's say 3500 meters okay click on okay there you go we find uh, the cross uh, cross section lines they make sure that the two cross, cross section lines would never intersect with each other so if you find any we have to remove them so editor start editing I've seen here so it's you have to edit them either delete them or you know shift their position and make sure that each cross section line should be crossing all the features so here this one is not uh, crossing the uh, flow line so it has to be removed and okay a lot of intersections here let's remove them sake of business okay if you want to edit them just select the uh, cross section line and edit vertices or you can you know stretch them or shift their position like this okay and okay here also they are intersecting intersecting not necessary and let's remove okay this one you can edit them or you know shift their position or change their sizes accordingly okay this is also not appropriate Okay, it's working it is okay it's working it's I'm fine with it the next one is this one is not applicable and for this one you can simply okay, for select it and delete vertices you can just shift its position over okay, this way okay here you go and make sure that every stream uh, must have at least uh, is there any connection here no. So have at least two cross section lines, okay? Then it will be fine, okay? You can simply check the cross section, just go plot cross section lines, and yes, save it. It's click on any cross sections, say here, okay? So this is how it looks. You click here, this is how it looks, okay? You can check them, okay? Now what I do is, or what you can do is just uh, go to uh, this crossing lines, right layer, right click on it, open attribute tables. Okay, it's not doing okay. What we do is first convert it into 3D. So go to streams line attributes, select all. Okay. Again. Go to rash geometry access code line streams then select all either you can select individually and go and click okay or it would work on the whole batch okay here you go 
the batch process is completed okay now let's go to the x cot lines open attribute tables you see the length it shouldn't be equal to zero because uh, if the two cross six lines they intersect or there has not been proper uh, uh, construction of the x cot lines then there might be problem so we don't see any zero length it's okay if you find any problem or you find them zero then select the attribute and uh, the particular line will be selected and you can easily edit them delete them or whatever you can do okay make sure the rules are followed now what we do is we set up okay go to layer setup uh, select team create okay and now we have to export rust data so rust geometry export rust data and select the uh, <coughs> location click on okay <coughs> now it's uh, exporting the rest data <coughs> what we do is after exporting uh, we'll be working on uh, hey cross we'll be uh, doing with the geometric data uh, we'll be analyzing things okay we'll be calculating discharge uh, we'll click on close okay. we'll calculate discharge through different ways and uh, We'll be analyzing the flow but uh, for this video we'll stop here uh, for all the parts i'll be making next video okay i hope it was helpful thank you very much